Ahead of the 19th East African Community Heads of State Ordinary Summit on Friday in Kampala, all community ministers met yesterday to, among other things, discuss content of a report implicating the Secretary General, Liberatum Fikeko, in graft. This was going to be the first time the Council of Ministers was to debate the report. However, after over 10 hours of deliberations, the Council of Ministers failed to agree on whether the Secretary General should step aside. Uh, I think I agree that this is a matter that needs to be resolved and finalized. Uh, but there, there are also issues of, of uh, procedure. So while the other countries were more keen on the substance, on the matter, uh, I th all of them actually had consensus on the substance of the matter. But uh, uh, Burundi and Tanzania raised the issue of procedure. How, how can we proceed on this? We should not set a precedence that something which is not procedurally uh, right it comes to council and so forth. Well, I think there's still controversy also on the issue of procedure. But since there was no consensus at that level then, uh, the matter was dropped. The report stems from a letter by the former Deputy Secretary General of Planning and Infrastructure, Dr. Enos Bukoko, highlighting 13 cases of alleged embezzlement and misuse of community funds leveled against Mufumkeko. President Jerome Seveni, who is also the current chairperson of the East African Community, is said to have summoned Mufumkeko to State House today. Every year, all the six member states in the East African community are required to pay $9 million each of taxpayers' money as membership fee to the East African community. So we get concerned as ministers who are moving with this money to take the secretariat. The staff also get concerned because as I talk right now, there's no money in the, in the, in the, in the secretariat. Partner states are not contributing. It is only Uganda which has contributed to 43%, which Tanzania, which has concluded the payment yesterday. But we can say there are partner states which have not paid any coin. And they are giving excuses that there is corruption at the secretariat. According to the report that NTV has seen, the Secretary General misused $192,000 when he decided to pay salaries to staff for the month of October and November 2016. From the General Reserve Fund, contrary to the East African Community Financial Rules and Regulations of 2012. Furthermore, the Secretary General spent $288,000 to pay salaries between December to February 2017 from the Ring First Funds meant to pay the vendor who had supplied a software to the capital market infrastructure project. The report recommends that the Secretary General should be individually held accountable for their loss incurred through the financial sector development project. The report further accuses the Secretary General of awarding the contract for group insurance to Liberty Insurance which was third ranked and had also interfered in the procurement process and paid Liberty Insurance Company for six months at a price twice that of Britam Insurance for one year. According to the report, these anomalies cost the community $68,905 in the six months to end of December 2016. They want the Secretary General to be held accountable for their loss incurred through the procurement of the insurance company. Furthermore, out of the 11 foreign trips between February 2016 and February 2017, Six Wat Burundi, which raised questions of impartiality in decision making, since it may be inferred that he is taking country directives during such frequent visits. The report further established that the Secretary General attended management trainings using donor funds. In April 2016, upon his appointment as Secretary General, Mfumkeko went for a 10 days training in France and spent $20,000. The permanent secretaries noted that the training institution does not exist. The investigation also revealed a diversion of $174,000 from IRCC project planned for strengthening of internal audit. The countries, our Auditor General here was part of the committee that did the investigation and they have the report out. And it's not only one, it is all partner states. Now we are the outgoing East African Community Deputy Secretary General Jessica Irio confirmed these developments to NTV. Currently, East African heads of states have converged in Kampala as they seek for more donor funds for the cash-trapped East African community. This report was expected to be tabled during the heads of state summit on Friday. If found culpable, Burundi could be asked to either refund the money or withdraw Mufumkeko and front a new secretary general. Mufumkeko, a former deputy secretary in charge of finance, ascended to the region's top administrative seat in March 2016. As East African community leaders gather in Kampala this week, this scandal threatens any implementation of the plans and programs that may be arrived at here. And if any measures are not put in place, the secretariat could choke on debt and lack of financing because member states and other donors are already expressing concern that the money they're sending to the secretariat is not being put to good use. Shiran Huchre, NTV, 
Speak Resort, Munyonyo.